All right, Mark Warnke here with PackOats.com. I wanted to speak to you guys about a subject that I keep hearing from people about that are having issues. People continually have issues with these immature babies as they're rolling in kind of from six months to a year and a half and they're establishing their dominance in the herd. Now remember, you're part of the herd. So if you have your children, you have a smaller wife or even yourself, these guys are going to test you and they're going to see who runs the show and they're going to do it with their horns. They're going to see if you're willing to allow them to speak to you with their horns and they speak to you in a way of aggression. And so they'll do a little nudge and you'll be like, whoa, did they mean to do that? Every time a goat hits you with his horns, he meant to do it. It is a goat communication thing. So when these little guys come at you with their horns in any way, what you have to be conscientious of, it has to be arrested immediately. So what I do is I yell no, super loud. I scare the crap out of them on purpose and I get really gestury. I go no. And what it does is it spooks them. That's step one. Step two, if it happens again, is I flip a goat. Now it's really important that you understand the process of flipping a goat. If nobody's shown you how, um, you need to know how to do it. Please be cautious. This is super arresting to a goat. It's very disruptive to them. It takes them a while to trust you again after you do it. It's a very aggressive move in the world of goats. And so I want you to be conscious that also too with these babies, I'm always approaching a baby from the side. I'm not messing around with their head a lot. That's kind of a confusing communication with a babe who's trying to figure out, am I supposed to use my head to talk with dad? Where, what am I doing? He always addresses me from the side. I guess he's that, that, that we don't really do that. I don't play with him like I do other goats. He doesn't do that stuff. So this guy I've had to flip several times. He's coming around. I'm able to use voice commands, but it's so important that nobody in your family nor yourself ever allow for any of that stuff when they're this age because they're just gonna grow into a 200 pound bully and then you're gonna have to get rid of them. So it's very important you address this. So I just wanted to speak to that about this and I'm gonna show you on a small goat how we're gonna do it and then I'm gonna show you on a big goat. So for a small goat, remember, you're gonna reach underneath, you're gonna grab their opposite legs, you're gonna flip them over and then you're gonna step over the top of them and then I'm gonna hold him upside down, okay? So he doesn't deserve this right now, it's a little bit confusing, but I'm doing this for you so you know how. So I'm gonna reach under, grab these legs, push with my chest and he's over. Now I'm over the top of him and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold him here like this. So now I can hands-free hold this goat, and I'm gonna tell him, no. And I'm gonna hold him here. Now, I don't wanna do this, because he didn't do anything wrong. I don't wanna do this for a long period of time, but you can see this is arresting for him. It's demeaning. I mean, he's rolled over in poo. Um, it's just not a, a thing that they like, and it doesn't take long to do it. Now, I don't crush him and get all aggressive with him when I'm right here but I'm still letting them know I'm hovering over them. Now with my little children, if they're having issues with it, then just push him away. If, if my children are having issues with it, then what I'll do is I'll have them come and I'll have them stand right here over their head. So now they're over him, right? And so they're over him and they're doing what needs to be done and they are you know, in place. But you can see I can hold this goat just with my legs. So it's really important. Now the other thing is they cannot win. They cannot get away. You need to let them up when you're ready, okay? So see how relaxed he's gotten now? This is full submission. So he's fully submitted. So now I'm gonna tell him, okay, it's okay, all right. And I'm gonna love him up, okay? So now we need to make up. I just showed him who's boss, but I still want him to know he's loved. Now see how I kind of capture his head like this? This is how I'll hold a goat that's now kind of scared of me and is going, geez, is dad my buddy? What's going on? And now I'm reminding him I'm his, his buddy. So keep in mind, sorry, we got a goat messing with the camera, but that's how you flip a baby. So now we're gonna go over and we're gonna flip an adult. And I'm gonna show you how to do that because it does take technique. So we'll jump over and I'll grab a big goat for you. 
All right, so now we got a big goat. Chester's 220-ish pounds. He's big, he's super strong. And if you do this right, it's very simple. Now, again, I'm not gonna hold him upside down for long. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's gonna be a little confused, but I'm doing this for you so that you can see how to do this. It's important you know how to do it right. Anybody can do this if they do it right. So what I'm gonna do, and he'll skate away from me if I get too, too much. I'm gonna reach under, I'm gonna grab this leg. I'm gonna reach under, I'm gonna grab the other leg. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna push with my chest. So my chest tips him over and I lock his legs down and he has no option but to flop over. As soon as he flops over, I control those front legs because the back legs are gonna be flaying on back here. I step over him and I pin him on each side of his shoulders with my feet, okay? So here goes. So I'm just gonna get ready, I'm gonna reach under. So come over here, please. So you can see his back legs are the ones that I'm worried about. Good boy, Chester, it's okay. Good boy, it's okay, it's okay. Good boy, it's okay, it's okay. So I got his front legs, his back legs, sometimes they'll bring him up. So I slide as far forward as I can and I hold his front legs, but you can see I have my legs pressed tight against each side. I can hands free hands free and he can't get back over okay so this is this is him flailing right so big strong goat but I'm able just to hold him upside down and he's okay good boy good boy and then I'm gonna go ahead and let him back up roll him to his side now I need to make it up to him good boy come on up come on buddy you're like why'd you do that to me dad sorry bud hey come here so again, I lock the head and I love him up because right now he would step away from me. He's confused. He's like, why'd you do that? That's your good boy. Now Chester isn't a particularly loving goat. By the way, do you see how when he steps back, I still got him? This is how I'll hold a goat that doesn't want to be held when I don't have a leash or a collar. And you can lock around the head and then the horns are right there. They pull back and they stop. I've never had one horn me in the back, but right now I'm just gonna go back to loving him. He's chewing his cud. He's relaxed, he knows he's safe again. But don't just flip a goat and forget that you gotta, you gotta teach him that you're still safe again because it hurts their feelings. Go boy, Chester. All right, so I hope that's helpful. Patgoats.com. Um, anything else, please always send us in your messages and we'd be glad to post videos to help you with any solutions you need.